This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Jade, we were talking during the break, and I thought this might be good uh, content to talk about on the show. What's that? I got an email from the Social Security Department with my like yearly statement. Okay. So I thought, all right, I'm a young buck, but I'll open this up. Let me see what's inside uh, this bad boy. Uh-huh. And it was pretty interesting to see how much money the government thinks I will be given when I'm the ripe age of 62 or uh-huh, 70. Uh-huh. And I wanted to break this down because we get this question frequently on the show. People are asking, hey, when should I take Social Security? That's, will it yeah. even be there for me? And note on that part, there's actually a spot in the document where they they know that people are concerned about this. So like, hey, we want to give you confidence in, in your future and retirement. Uh, so click this PDF to show how we'll be there for you. Well, here was the, the rousing uh, confidence booster we know that um, at least until 2034, the money will be there. Yeah. And I was like, okay, 2034, that's that's 10 years from now. So 10 years from now, they're not going to have 100% of the funding to keep no, Social not Security at all. going. And we know this. And they encourage me by saying, hey, listen, even if nothing changes, we'll still be able to pay 80% of each benefit due. Because that's fair. Because I paid into this thing for my whole life for them to then discount it. But keep in mind that the benefit was only at... A portion of your exactly. So they're giving you eighty percent of what was already what was only a forty percent benefit Thank to you. begin with. So uh, that we're at two point eight three trillion in the fund in the trust funds as it stands today, and so that's why um, I encourage people, especially the younger generations, do not rely on this. This is icing on the cake, and I talked about this in my new book, Breaking Free from Broke Jade. Can I tell you what I wrote? Hit me. Research from the Fed reveals 26% of non-retired Americans have zero dollars in any kind of retirement account. That's one in four non-retired people. This is not great. And in research from Ramsey Solutions, 48% have less than 10 grand saved in retirement. So that's going to get you about, what, three months into retirement if you're lucky. That's... So then people are going, well, Jade, at least I'll have Social Security. Uh, Well, we just showed you how that's not going to be enough to get by. Here's the real numbers. The average monthly benefit in 2023 from Social Security was around $1,700 a month. Try living on that. And you'll see why we call it social insecurity. That's approaching the poverty line. That's $1,700 a month. And by the way, that's the average, Jade. Some people get less than $900 a month. Wow. And here's here's the last stat. 52% of workers have never stopped to calculate how much money they'll even need in retirement. So half of them are just YOLOing and fingers crossed, head in the sand. Yet again, we'll let someone else worry about it. Yet again, assuming that the government will be there to handle them financially. Listen, I, I will tell anybody who will listen. You need to, if you want to be thriving, you want to be thriving during retirement years, not just surviving and scratching by. And and then there's the scam. I'm going to just call it a scam, George, where it's like, Ooh. OK, if I take Social Security early at 62, I'm only going to get it this much. So I'm going to wait till I'm fully aged, you know, where I can get the full benefit. But if you wait even longer, you get more money. This is what we need to talk about. Yes. And this we do need to talk about it because I did the math for you. I just talked with the uh, I think it was CNBC. I was talking to them and I was saying, listen, if you don't have to like if you're going to work beyond 62, start taking Social Security. You Start know your boy is going to take that money out the day it's available yes, at 62. Yes, and invest it. George, give him the math. Okay. I crunched the numbers for you because you know I'm a nerd and I needed the numbers. So <laughs> at age 62, if I took out my benefit uh-huh. and I started getting that every month and I invested that whole portion, let's just say into a taxable brokerage account, mm-hmm. not even in a retirement account, mm-hmm. and let's assume 10% rate of return. Okay. From age 62 to age 80, starting from $0 in this account, I would have $1.45 million. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Just from extra money that I took immediately when I could take it, right? Yes. Now, if I wait till 70, of course, people go, well, George, you're going to have, you know, a lot more money coming in from Social Security every month. Right. Yeah, but I also lost out on eight years of compound growth. So even investing the larger amount for 10 years from age 70 to age 80, mm-hmm. at age 80, I now have $921,000 in that account. Listen. So that's a difference. Get this. Because I took Social Security as soon as I could and invested it yeah. instead of waiting till 70, it's a difference of over half a million dollars. Guys. To my net worth and to what I can pass on to my grandchildren. What I want to say, because George, you laid that out per- perfectly. 
But I know there's still people who feel this weird sense of fear about even considering that as an option. It's like, well, the government's giving me that money. It's for my retirement. I'm like, number one, the government's not giving you anything. That was your money that you paid in. And you're only getting a portion of it back. This is Let's not be a clear gift. about that. The government doesn't gift anything. It's They're, just redistributing yeah. all of our money. Yeah. You're getting back your money. Way. You gave it to them and they invested it poorly at like a 2.2% return. And now that's part of the reason here that we're not having enough to fund everything. They're giving your money back to you so you can take it and do whatever you want with it. And what George is suggesting and what I'm suggesting is invest it. Invest it in something that gets better than a 2.2% return because at the end of the day, they were only going to provide 40% of the lifestyle you've been mm-hmm. used to living. And you can't rely after on this. 20, and after 2034, that 40% goes down 80%. That's this is not crazy. Okay. That's Y'all, critical. This is why it's called social insecurity. Get this camera on me right now. Here, here's the deal, America. Go fund yourself. I said it live on the Ramsey show. Do not rely on the government to take care of you with this terrible plan, especially those that are younger, because it may not even be around. And if it is, it's going to be pennies compared to what your parents got and their pensions and all these wonderful ways they were able to just not save yeah. for retirement. Yeah. But it's going to be on us, Jade. And that's yeah. why we tell people invest early. That's right. Get out of debt. Get the emergency fund. Get to investing. Compound yes. interest is your best friend. And if you just do the simple thing, mm-hmm. be the tortoise instead of the hare. That's right. Avoid the crypto. And uh, well, my buddy said I need to get an annuity and a whole life insurance policy. And I saw this rapper on his TikTok video said this is what the wealthy do. Just yeah. invest in your 401k. I promise it's not a scam. 80% of the millionaires we studied uh, said the 401k was the number one vehicle. Yeah. Your retirement employer plan. It is so boring, and yet it works when you just invest in over time. mutual funds over time. The S&P 500, the That's overall right. stock market, has returned 10 to 12% since yeah. its inception. That's the Yeah, it's almost like you boil it down to just these – if you can – in the course of your lifespan, you know, we strike out when we're 18, 20, and most of us are going to work until we're 65, God willing, maybe even 70 if you want to. But if you can do three things, if you can just pay off your debt and live a debt-free lifestyle, if you can, and so that you're entering retirement without consumer debt, then if you can do one better and, and invest monthly, regularly when the time comes, so you've made it a habit of investing. And if you can enter in retirement without a home mortgage, like three goals you have in life, if you can do That's it. that- you are golden. And when you do that, George, you don't need as much of a nest egg. If you can enter into retirement without consumer debt and without mortgage debt, suddenly this need to have all this giant money, you're like, okay, I've, I've eliminated so much of the payment, so much of what's need that, that, that you needed before that you don't need to have, you well, know, this. You, when you decrease your risk, you increase your peace. That's right. It's that simple. And so when you do that, and luckily for my wife and I, we decided to do that early. Mm -hmm. We thought, what would it be like in our 30s to -hmm. have no mortgage payment, to be investing for a future, now bringing our daughter into this world? Yeah. It's just a different way to live. We're not as worried about inflation and what if there's a crash and what if the pandemic... We just get to live our life with peace. That's right. Because we don't have payments. And that's what I want for everyone out there. And investing consistently, everyone's arguing about net worth and what... Right. Your home equity. I'm going, listen, I'm not touching this money. That's We're fine. Right. We got margin in our day-to-day life until I'm 62 and tap into Social Security mm-hmm. and in those investment accounts. And Lord willing, we won't need much of it. Yeah. What we're saying is a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And you can't do that if Social Security was your only out. That's it. Like you, you just stopped and said, okay, I'm done making money. I have no assets and Social Security is there. You, you can't leave anybody to and anything do, to anybody like that. do not rely on your kids. We take enough calls in the show where relationships are destroyed because parents are relying on the kids. The kids are relying on the parents. They didn't communicate. They didn't invest for retirement. And they're calling us at 65 going, we have nothing saved. What do we do? Get a time machine. Mm. I mean, there's not a lot you can do. You can get out of debt. But folks can break the cycle today. There yes. are people who can start breaking that cycle today. Be one of those people. Wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. Be the tortoise. Be a crockpot in a world full of microwaves, my friends. Thanks for listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. Need help with your investments? Connect with a SmartVestor Pro at RamseySolutions.com slash invest or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash SmartVestor.